And you guys were down by 12 there early in the second half. Um, what, what was the key to the comeback? The key to the comeback was we had to shoot better shots and not turn the ball over. I felt like we came collectively and we all bought in and to see what happened at the end of the game. I feel like we came out with the W after that. And, and then um, what, what was the halftime locker room like? I imagine it wasn't real pleasant. <laughs> I mean, it wasn't as bad, but he got on us. He just told us we need to take better shots and quit turning the ball over. We had nine turnovers at half, and normally that's what we're supposed to have for the game. I feel like we did what we had to do the second half and turn it um, around. I got a few more. I'll turn back to Mike. Thanks. Curtis. Hey, Desi, you guys played a lot of small ball, especially in the second half with Justin Smith playing the five for you. He he finished with 22 and 17. Can you just talk about the job he did in there? He did a hell of a job. He did his thing. That's what we need Justin to do every each and every night because when he playing his game the way he's supposed to play, we're going to be tough to um beat. Uh, yeah, Desi, how much of the, the eight-day layoff that y'all had, did that affect your play? And, and what do you think contributed to that, that poor first half? I mean, it was a slow grind. It, it, you know, it was just like nobody wanted to practice for a whole week. But at the end of the day, we did. And we finished. We, we did what we had to do to get through it to Sunday, you know. But, I mean, we couldn't complain about it, but we did what we had to do. But, like, first half, we, we were sluggish, and we picked it up the second half because, like, Coach, we know what Coach must expect, and we know what he wants. Nate. Nate, you're muted. You got a lot of guys in foul trouble during that first half, even even as badly as y'all played. What was the key to that, do you feel? What'd you say again, sir? Yeah, getting like uh, Glasper and Abnus, those guys were in foul trouble even during that first half. Kind of what was the key to that? We knew there was the... Um, Glasper and Amnes, number number three, they were the best players. We wanted to go with him and get him in foul trouble and get him out of the game as quick as we can. Thank you. Scotty. Yeah, Desi, going back to Justin, I think 10 of his 17 rebounds were on the offensive glass, and Coach Musselman said he thinks he's Justin might be the best offensive rebounding player he's ever coached. What, what do you think makes Justin an effective offensive rebounder? Um, he, he just played hard. He come out with very efficient. He very efficient on offense and defense. And, you know, we need Justin all, all the time. You know, what he did tonight was unmarkable. He, I feel like he can do it again each and every night if he come out like he did today. Randy. Does he talk about the shot selection in the first half compared to the second half? It seemed like there was a much greater emphasis on driving – into the basket in the second half as compared to the first half? Um, I just feel like the first half was just doing one pass and shooting. And the second half, we got in the paint kick out and got the open looks. And that's why we uh, came back the way we did and just try to get out of transition. Jackson. You went up for a contest uh, early. I think that was in the first half. Um, came down with a little bit of an injury. What happened there? Um, I hit my I hit my thumb on a rim and my hit my like my my shoulder went back. But the the way that the one of our athletes I mean not our athletic trainer but our trainers did he helped me get back and just told me keep squeezing and gave me a ball and I kept squeezing I just came back and tried to help my team win. Bob. Uh, as you guys got a quick turnaround playing Abilene Christian on Tuesday they're. Seven and one uh, gave Texas Tech a real tough game. Um, they got a seven foot or two. I don't know if you know much about them, but just what do you think about the the quick turnaround and, and playing what looks like a pretty good team? I mean, every team gonna be tough each and every night, but at the end of the day, it don't matter. We still got to step up to the play and do what we got to do. Come out with the win. You know, they got a seven three. We got a seven three, and we're gonna show who the best. It's a quick turnaround. You know, two games in three days is that a tough or? I mean, it ain't. It's it gonna be tough, but at the end of the day, we gotta do what we gotta do. We gotta be mentally prepared. We gotta watch film. We gotta see what they're talking about, and we're gonna and just go in the game Tuesday and ready to play. Thanks. Thanks, guys. Really appreciate it.